Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your, it's your boy Barry Tone. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing you guys the best settings for the Xenia emulator. Before we get started this video, please make sure guys you like, share, and also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Let's get it. Now, first things first, as you guys may know, if you guys open up the Xenia emulator for the very first time, the Xenia emulator should make a config um, file. Now, I suggest you guys to have Notepad++, which I'll also leave in the description down below. Make sure you guys get Notepad++ because it'll be more easier to um, figure out the configuration settings when you have Notepad++. For me, I download for Windows 64 due to the fact I have a 64-bit type computer. Now, when you after you get Notepad++, um, Windows is gonna ask you how how you want to open it, and basically how you usually open up files. I believe you're going to left click, and then you want to choose you're gonna edit with Notepad++. Now, as you can see here, we're on to the uh, Zinnia, basically Zinnia configuration settings, and as you can guys can see. You can see the CPU settings, configuration settings, content, D D D three twelve, your GPU settings, general, HID, logging, memory, SDL, UI, Vulkan settings. X configuration settings and user language. Now, there's many ways you can um, work around with this. You can also use you can use clock scaling. Um, I, I advise if you guys are really have experience with um, clocking clocking your GPU, I mean your CPU. I wouldn't recommend you guys messing with this um, settings due to the fact that if you if you're clocking, you're clocking in your CPU for the very first time, you may mess up something. So I try my best to stay away from this. I mostly focus on basically the D3, 12 settings, GPU settings, and also the general settings. And also the Vulkan settings. So here, when I'm in the D3 12 settings, I usually, I basically read this, it's pretty simple and easy. So like say for example, you wanna change something, um, it makes an exclamation on, uh, explanation on the right telling you how to basically change it. Like say for example, if I go up to, I'm just using it as an example, I really don't mess with um, the CPU settings cause I, I really don't like to mess around with it. So like say for example, I want to mess around with the clock scaling. It tells you how to basically, um, how to use that. So if you wanna turn it to true or false, this works based on true and false. And if other things work on number settings, I think one, two, three. And when you go into clock scaling, you can disable scaling code, time management and clocking and locking is bypass. Guest system time is directly pulled from the host. I'm gonna go down a little bit. The D312 settings, I believe they used to have a resolution um, settings. I don't know why they disabled it, it's so weird. Let me do control F, look for a resolution. Find next, let me see. Nope, it's not it at all. And for resolution. Did I spell it wrong? <laughs> Probably did. Hmm. All right, so they moved it from the D3, the D3-12, um, 
because I remember in the old, older builds, they used to have it under the D312. So resolution scale is basically here and it explains to you how it basically works through a number system. One, two, three, um, may be supported, but, um, but support of anything above one depends on the device properties. So I'm assuming that that basically means how strong your PC is. So if you want to, um, get the strongest, play it to max settings, obviously you're going to change it to three. And I like say, for example, you try to look for V-Sync, you got to want to turn on V-Sync, V, V sync. I'm gonna try to see it. If, I, if that's how you spell it, it's incorrect. All right, so. Now, I believe you, when you put on true, you enable V sync. So, if you want to basically disable it, you're gonna put on false. It's pretty straightforward. Um, when you look at it at first glance, this looks like straight gibberish. But since this only works in basically two settings a number system and a true or false um, system, and it on to the right it tells you basically how to basically change the settings you want and in hindsight compared to other emulation configuration settings um, I'm talking about the more modern one like Ryujinx, Yuzu, RPCS3 yes even RPCS3 this is more technical in advance as you can see you have many ways to mess around with your configuration settings so if you guys want um Want to mess around with the settings and push your game to maximum speed? This is the perfect place to basically go on the Xenia emulator. So, yeah, that's basically how to find the best settings for the Xenia emulator. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to like, share, and also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And yeah, guys, this is your boy Brutone. I see you guys in the next video. Peace out.